Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. We are in Korikod in the state of Kerala, India. And today we're gonna go on a food tour. Korikod is, by the way, known as a culinary food capital of Kerala, known for some of the best food in Kerala. Uh, so today we're gonna go on a food tour, uh, specifically a street food tour of Korikod. Well, Eben is first gonna take us to this amazing fish fry spot chili fish fry spot um, and then later in the afternoon we'll be doing a lot of street food eating and I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video. Here, there's no parking at the fish spot so we're just taking we parked over on the other side in an empty lot and we're just walking down the street to get there. I can almost smell the fish already. <laughs> so across the road, then into like a construction zone, and now down the neighborhood path. Oh, oh I can smell it. You're on your way to the fish fry yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's on his way here too. <laughs> but wafting down this entire alley, you can smell the all of a sudden the coconut oil. We'll go to Straight away to the kitchen. Let's go. Walk. Don't even take a seat, just directly to the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Step into the kitchen, and the fumes of spices are just steaming around this room and just like floating around this room. They have uh, the main griddle pan, which is over wood, which is just sizzling with spices. And he just like, he flicked in some curry leaves. It's just bubbling like hot lava. Slices of fish. There's a number of different types of fish, I think. Um, and it's then kingfish first. this one is kingfish first. Yeah. And we got some palm frets. Palm frets are gonna go, palm some black palm frets. The and massive pans of rice. Yeah. You can tell they're expecting a lunch rush. And she is... Namaskaram. Namaskaram. It is just smoldering away like lava over open fire, over flame. Just the combination of the curry paste and that coconut oil. Uh, she's gonna take off this batch and then she's getting ready to make a whole nother batch. But that is literally, that's a bucket of curry paste and spices. Smoldering. Every now and then she takes, they have an entire jug of coconut oil that she just splashes onto the, the mother pan. But that, as soon as she pulls off, and the, the unique way they, she serves it as well is she takes it, she, she flips the fish a few times, um, then scoops it with as much curry paste as possible that will cling to the fish onto the plate. So it's so juicy, oily from that paste and coconut. Um, and then as soon as she takes them off, she then goes to the, the pot of curry paste. Um, it's, and it's an, it's an instant marination, so it's just like rub as much of it onto the piece of fish as possible and directly onto the pan, and then immediately a splash of coconut oil. When any of the flavors or ingredients gets low, she just tosses on more coconut oil, more curry leaves. She just tossed on a fresh batch of curry leaves, just like throws them on, like splattering them across the pan, the griddle. That is one of the most beautiful griddles you, I think you'll ever see in the entire world. That, the aromas, the spices. This is a genius way to cook fish fry. Like fish fry is something you'll find all over Kerala, but yes. the style. This is unique the to this place. Unique to this place. This, place. So this is the spot, right? Actually, uh, their mother used to prepare like this, oh. and they followed. There's no special ingredient, but this way of preparation is unique to this place. She's rehydrating in ways I've never even seen, I've never even imagined before. The splash of coconut oil from the jug. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just completely soaked and bathing in spices and steam and smoke. And then when she feels necessary, when it's the right time, she just instinctively just makes it rain with curry leaves. <laughs> 
what a pro move. Like just literally grabbing into the, oh, another splash. We can't miss it. But she just literally, a handful, yeah, of curry paste, like scoots it, like flicks it onto the fish. <laughs> Of this, this recipe. Who invented this recipe? She's here. But we can eat it. Fish. She's just like tossing around lava. <laughs> She's playing with lava, curry lava. This is the only fish fry I have seen so juicy. Oh, yeah. Because we've had other fish fry that's more drier. Yeah. Because it, it fully like dries up. Dry. This but they this actually is... preserve the juiciness. You this could actually see that. Yeah, it's just juicing juicing around itself. Should we call it as a fish curry or a fish fry or in between them? <laughs> I think it's like a yeah, exactly. You don't know. And yeah. I can I can already see that you're gonna want the you want the deep dish. Yeah. <laughs> get as much you get you order the deep dish. Yeah. They give you more sauce. Okay. I think we should, we should, we should do this, yeah. yes, <laughs> it is time. Another fish curry. So, can you see the fish pieces? Oh, wow. This is a different variety of fish curry. Wow. It's not that spicy because of coconut, coconut meat. Milk, right? yeah. Finally worked up the self-esteem to come out into the dining room. Oh, they're full now. I am like... Like if you looked at me right now, it looked like I just got out of the swimming pool. <laughs> Thank you. Hot, 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 salty. So we're starting off with water from boiling rice. Yeah. A rice soup. Oh yeah, just very light. Just like the, the gluten or the yeah. starch from the rice, right? Mm. Yeah, just very, very simple. It's exactly what it is. But we, not, we need all the hydration we can get right now. Should I just sit there? Thank you. I think there's only one choice after watching that happen. Lemon plus mango. Oh, nice. Tua. Uh, Oh, that's awesome. Wait, so what you have to do is you have to make a hole in your rice for yeah. the gravy for the... And we got another curry coming, right? Yeah. Oh, next up for the fish curry. Oh, I want a big hole. <laughs> I want a bigger hole. Yeah, see, should look like the eyes. Two oh, eyes. Oh, yeah, the papa. Papa dum. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe it. Yeah. Mark your so she, they come around with the pans of fish that they loaded up in the kitchen where they're frying it. Uh, you choose between the kingfish and the pomfret. And after seeing it being fried, yeah, there was no way I was ever going to make that decision of which one to, to go for. So I got both. And you, the amazing thing is you make little holes in your rice for the different curries. There's a fish curry. And that one is the, the, the dal. The dal. Dal with amarandas. Oh. And with coconut too, right? Coconut too. <laughs> dal, amarandas, coconut. Maybe tomatoes, Some other green chilies. Okay, it's just this is like a a painting splatter <laughs> artwork. It's beautiful. Can I serve some saltini soup, oh. which we call it as rasam? Oh, rasam. Okay. Evan has just poured me some rasam. Yeah. Mm, you smell the coriander, tamarind, and the tamarind. Yeah. Oh, wow. It tastes like a pickled brine juice. The camera, that's from the salmon. You know, traditionally, oh, that's how do we drink that? It's like yeah. this. Okay, I gotta do that. Oh. Wow. Awesome. That is awesome. This is the traditional way of drinking rasam. Shall I? Yes, please. Okay. Ah, that's awesome. That is awesome, yeah. Should get that sound. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Exactly. Exactly. That, oh, yeah. that is incredible. That's like, oh, that's a beautiful flavor. It's that sour tamarind, but like, like, herbed up, herbed up with the coriander. It directly hits the throat. Yes, it does. Oh, you drink that, like that. That's beautiful. It does. You taste it more too, you know? Yeah. You have to gurgle to taste more. <laughs> what should we begin with? Actually, we should start with this vegetarian the side. Oh, vegetarian, vegetarian, vegetarian side. side. Okay. And also papad. And papad. So, 
You may break some papad and mix it with these vegetables and rice together. Mix that papad, mix a bit more of the crunchies in there. You can see the mustard seed in there, I believe. Yeah. Mix everything to get everything like together in one. Mmm. 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 Wow. Yes. The coconut and the saltiness of the, the papad. Papad. The lemon and mango pickle. Into the vegetarian mm -hmm. side? Yeah. The vegetarian side. The taste mm. of lemon. Mmm. Salty cured lemon. Mmm. Oh, it's outstanding. I'm gonna begin with the kingfish now, and you can just see that caramelized coconut crust of lava curry with the curry leaves, the fish underneath it. Oh, wow. This is what just goes up in a, a flaming, flaming mess of hot oil. You are mix, mixing with rice? Or no rice. Okay. You, you just get the just taste only of the, the fish. fish. Alone. Only the fish. Fish with that masalas. <laughs> oh, wow. The taste of masala with coconut oil. It's just like pure chili powder. It's like candy. It's like curry candy. Just mm. as good as the fish is. You actually could eat it with no fish, and just she could actually just be frying the curry paste in coconut oil, and you could eat that with anything. You could use that as a jam, as a spread for anything, as a topping for anything, as it's so flavorful. Yeah, that's because of the plentiness of that coconut oil, as well as the masalas. Okay, and next up for the pom prep. It's just like it's actually equal ratios of curry paste to fish. They have their ratios in place. The palm prep. <laughs> the totally different texture than the kingfish. I mean, equally as good, both of them. Some more beans. That lemon achar is just insane, too. It's so salty, sour. But that fish, that fish, anyway. The amount of curry paste they use, the amount of chili powder that they use, it is it is pretty decently spicy. Like you feel the heat start to to grow on you. Mm. You just want to wipe up every last drip of sauce though on your banana leaf. It's just too much flavor condensed that you can't miss. With every bite, you just cannot believe yourself. Another just life-changing meal in Kerala. The final swipe, the final wipe. <laughs> Add all the spices plus the pickle. <laughs> the, the one finger, yes, plus the pickle. The, the index finger swipe. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's totally appropriate to lick your fingers. Yeah, it's okay. One final rasam to try to get all the all the curry sauce off my fingers. Jesus. Oh, oh. Well, that's just like flavor going through my veins right now. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that was so good. Well, Evan, fantastic, man. This is just contained. Contained, like overjoy. Yeah. And I think it is that sad moment. Goodbye. Until next time. Yeah. Until next time. Set the cup on top. That's a wrap. Sweet. Okay. Groundnut and jaggery. Yeah, a little dessert sweet stall right on the outside of the restaurant. Yeah.
Um, if we do not have the change, if they Where's do not have baby? the change, they you will substitute with this. No. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very nice, nice you. <laughs> very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, yes. So, very, very Evan was just explaining to me uh, that if you don't have the change for your meal, you often come, come out here to have a sweet, <laughs> to balance the change, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, really good. You like it? Yeah, try it. It is like a peanut brittle, but it's jaggery. Dibunda, deep ball. Deep means island. Lakshadweep. It's from Lakshadweep. It's not from Lakshadweep. It's made here, but the jaggery is from Lakshadweep. Makes you little Oh, try this. Thank you. Oh. This one, coconut and jaggery, huh? The coconut ball. From here, we're actually, I think we're gonna take a little rest this afternoon because we need a little rest after that meal. Um, and then we'll do a lot more street food in the evening in Korikor. Evan, we're on our way now to the Market Street, right? But uh, it's a uh, sweet street. Sweet street. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna taste some of the famous sweets. Halwas, we will try halwas. We will try some of the halwas. And so we're on our way to walk around the market a little bit. We're gonna taste some sweets and we're gonna just walk around and then we'll be eating a lot more street food this evening. Hey. One of the main sweets and snacks to eat here is called halwa, which is, it's like a sticky, we're gonna find out, but they have different versions. I've had it in other parts of the world as well, especially uh, Arab influenced, uh, but this is gonna be, oh, it's in the back. They just have like a mound of it, mountains of it. Okay, so he has all the halwas in the back here, all just like blobs of like sticky, kind of Diamond. sticky yeah, yeah. substance. Um, chili, so chili. Many, okay, I'll taste this coconut first. Ooh, yeah. Sweet. And the coconut, coconut in there. It's like a hardened gelatin. It is made from uh, wheat flour and made into kind of like a doughy, sticky, sweet. This one is chili. Yeah. It straight up tastes like a green chili, but it's sweet. <laughs> they cook in coconut oil after that. Ah, okay. Cook in coconut oil. But you really do taste the flavors of the ingredients vibrantly. Yeah. Like because he's using the real ingredients to to flavor them. The fruits are so fragrant. The guavas, the guavas are so aromatic. Uh, but we're walking now to the front of the line. We're gonna catch a rickshaw to the seaside where in the evening they start selling street food. Serious this. Thank you. So we've come to a place that's called Zane's House and they have, they specialize in especially local snacks, different local snacks, almost like a tea house coffee shop style. And then they have the whole cabinet full of the different snacks. We're gonna order a few to try. Anyone? Oh, really, really, chicken patty. This is banana. No. <laughs> so different types of local snacks uh, and uncle here is really really friendly we're not actually going to eat all the full platters of these but he thought it would be good to, to set the scene like that but we're going to actually try like one of each the whole mixed yeah. platter this is known as unakai unakai made from plantains and uh, ripe plantains and ah. coconut. So the sugar, coconut, caramelized most probably. You can open and then fried like, when it's and fried. Then fried? Yeah, you can just try to open it and see. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, it almost has an onion taste too. Yeah. I taste the onions and the coconut shallots. Oh, shallots. Oh, shallots. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. This is mashed plantain outside. Okay. This is the whole plant. <laughs> this one is juicy. Oh, it's just like juiced. It's so juicy and oily. Yeah. Mm. The coconut oil just like, I think that's what's juicy, right? Oh, this is the yeah. juice. And the juice? The juice drips. 
Soup. Oh man. Chicken pao. Chicken pao. Mm. So pao is bread, right? Yeah, and pao then is just bread. Chicken. It's common for. Oh, it's like a. <laughs> stuff, stuff with chicken. Stuff with chicken. Oh, it's like a whole piece of chicken. Mm. Yeah, that was awesome. It's just like chicken and turmeric and onions just sweated down inside of a fluffy, slightly sweetened, fluffy loaf. This one also to kind of break it in the middle. Yeah. You can, and you can see what's inside. Dough is kind of like, kind of like spongy almost. Yeah, that's pretty awesome too. It's like curd chicken in kind of like an eggy feeling spongy flatbread. And then the final one is the fish steamed. Yeah. Patri. Patri. Wow. Oh, wow. That's like a steamed bun. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's straight up. It's curried fish full of onions. This is also patri. Patri. But this like is layers of patri. Chatti patri. Chatti means mud pot. And this one is also sweet, also though. This is sweet. This is like a patri layer cake. You can just see the different layers of the dough. Wow. Oh. Mm. It tastes like an egg custard within layers of dough. And I have to admit, like they are, they're all tastier than they look. The insides of them, the flavors of them, they're all really tasty. Those are a little on the greasy side, but they're so tasty and especially go good with heat. From here, we're gonna take a little walk towards the beach side, uh, towards the seaside, where some food carts set up in the evening. We do it again. Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the first stall that we have just arrived at, he is famous for his soya chunks. So it looks like a pan of mutton, but that's all vegetarian. Those are made from soy beans. Um, you can smell the curry leaves, and again he gives it like that Kerala spice mixture. There's chilies in there. Um, you can smell the, I think the garlic, the ginger, and then also he he just splashes on the coconut oil again. Uh, uh, uh. Coconut oil? Okay. Yes. I've never been so excited in my life to try soy chunks. Oh man, and so he dishes it out into the bag um, and then he gives it a, a pepper Awesome. A shake of pepper, and then you get it. You can also squeeze on some lime. Oh, it actually feels like sausage in your toothpick. Mm. Oh, wow. It tastes like sausage, yeah. I mean, it tastes like sausage. The spices in there, again, the curry leaves, the coconut oil, and the, that nice squeeze of lime juice. Hey. They can get three on one little kebab. It's so addictive. Once you start eating, you can't stop. The flavor, the addictiveness, the texture, and the spices in there, and the coconut oil. Okay, we're gonna continue walking from here. This is the beach. There's uh, a bunch of stalls. It looks almost like a little festival going on. Calicut Beach. Yeah. Okay. Where and famous for like snacks. Yeah. Famous People come snacks. here to hang out yeah. to the eat beach snacks, food. beach food. Oh, so. so some of the, so he has fresh fruits yeah. and vegetables, from cucumbers, yeah. and then he also has pickled fruits. This is, this and then with the fresh. Oh, so that's like a chutney that you can use with yeah. the. This is the pickle. I think this is tamarind pickle. I think this looks like tamarind string. It's just self service. Yeah. You just grab what you want. So this is a, a, a pickle, not a yeah. chutney. Yeah. Ah, it's a pickle. Can I try the papaya? Oh, actually, papaya. That looks so cool. Yeah. Thank you. Expert, Evan, thank you. Yeah, that is perfect. Wow, thank, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, the pickle. Because the pickle is salty and sweet from the tamarind. Oh it's just like gosh. sweet and a little bit spicy too. And then that, you're right about the pineapple. Because pineapple is the most acidic. So to contrast that salty sweetness. 
that's still good, yeah. Dude, the papaya is also awesome. So crunchy. Next, I'm moving over to this jar. I'm gonna grab a piece of pickled mango, add a bit of this. You don't wanna overdo it on the pickle though, or you will have just a, a salty, an over saltedness. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the pickled mango is amazing. It's so sour. My teeth immediately got that hurt, but the flavor is so good. Okay, last one I'm gonna try is the watermelon. And this is kind of not a fully ripe, ripe watermelon. It's almost like cucumbery. Wow. Watermelon is great too. Like, What's amazing is that every fruit, I mean every fruit is a different texture and a different juiciness and a different sweetness level and acidity. And then combined with that acha, it's like, it just like amplifies everything. Six pieces for 30. So they're five each. I think like the, one of the coolest parts is just the self-service. You just ser serve yourself on the beach. Hello. Spicy, as oh. well as they have mixture of that. Spicy, yeah. yes, spicy. <laughs> oh, what you expect? The beetroot alone. Ah, the mango. Manga, manga, and mango. Mango and carrot. Mango. mango. <laughs> that is awesome. It's so cool. This is basil seeds. Wow. Thank you. Spicy shaved ice, which is something I don't think I've ever had. But he scooped in beetroot, he scooped in pickled mango, and then basil seeds on top. And there's actually chunks of chilies within this ice. <laughs> Spicy shaved ice. That is amazing. Wow. That's like a shaved ice. Spicy pickle with beetroot. Mm. It's like a refreshing pickle icicle beverage. That is awesome. The combinations in India are just amazing. The, the genius of sweet, salty, spicy, everything mixed. This is not sweet at all, it's just like sour and spicy. This is sweet. This sugar syrup. The next version that we're having is the ice, but this one is the mixed with sweet and spicy and vegetables and pickles. He added, oh, he, the difference is this, first he added the, the sweet syrup, and so you kind of mix it up, and he added in a, a spoonful of roasted dal on top, plus tutti frutti. Okay, cool. Mm. Yes. That is balanced. The salty, sweet, sour, the crunchy, icy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Look at that face. This is awesome. Look at that face. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Add some more. Sugar. We can add more sugar. If you, you can like always it. add more to yeah. your liking. If you love to add more sorties, you can add pickles. Otherwise, you can add more sugar. Beautiful. I love more on the sugar side and less on the soreness as well as chili side. Cool. But for Mark, he loves spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Big one? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just had a pickle, uh, a pickled chili bath. It just exploded with juices. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's not spicy, but it's, that sour saltiness is just like that will hit you in the back of the throat. Mm. Everything we've tried, from the pickles to the fruits with the achar to the, the my new favorite type of shaved ice, yeah. spicy shaved ice, spicy pickle shaved ice. Um, but everything we've tried, everything is just like an awakening of the taste buds. Like your tongue just dances with the flavors. And these are just snacks, beach snacks. Nowhere has beach snacks like India.
This is cauliflower, that is kalimaka mussels, and this is uh, quail eggs. Quail eggs, nice. So, which one do you like to try? I mean, you should try all of them. You should try a little bit of all of them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a chili chandelier hanging from the from the rafter, and they have a bunch of deep fried snacks. There's quail eggs, there's the stuffed mussels. Oh, he's dishing us out. Um, we got three of their main dishes. One is the fried cauliflower, the stuffed mussels, and the quail eggs. Yeah. Let's try the cauliflower, squeeze on the lime juice. Oh, yes. Just little clumps of cauliflower, deep fried. <laughs> I gotta join this party. Oh, wow. it's, like a, it's like a pakora. Mm, it's pakora, actually. Oh, it is a pakora. Oh, man. It's like curried, curried dough, deep fried. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Next up is the mussels. Open it up. It's stuffed with rice flour. Yeah, rice flour. Oh, and there's the mussel inside of it too. Yeah. And then do you eat it from the? Scoop out and. Oh, scoop out like this. It's yeah. like yeah. baked bread inside of a mussel shell with the mussel. Get your eye against this. Okay, scoop like it up. Mm, yes. yes. Mm. An awesome technique. Oh, that does taste like bread almost. This is easier. Like big bread, mm. okay. Yes. Mm. The muscle, like, it's like an essence of muscle flavor. Yeah. You are, and crispy. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yes, cheers, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so creamy, the egg yolk. The yolk I mean, the quail yolk. Yeah. Wow. Quail egg yolk. Small in size, but tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these are the green peas. We're trying one more snack here. Scrambled eggs and peas. And then chili powder. And then he sprinkles on, he heats that up in the pan. And then he sprinkles on some pepper when you order it. Excellent. Hmm? Okay. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. The peas are starchy. And then just curdle it up with the, the scrambled egg. You got the onions in there. And then that spice blend, the turmeric, the pepper. Should I ask? Oh, yes, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's great, huh? And the lime. Wow. The lime. Mm. Okay, and then finally ending with a black tea to wash it all down. Oh, flaming hot. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, what a snacking paradise. Just a, like, this is the type of snacks you could eat throughout the night, late night. And so that's gonna wrap it up. That's gonna be the end of this food tour, mostly street food tour of Korikode in Kerala, on the coast of Kerala. For sure the highlight of my day was that fish fry for lunch. That was just a life-changing, transcendent fish experience, fried fish experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. I will also always remember the spicy pickled shave ice. I want to say a massive thank you to Eben from Food and Travel TV. I'll have his link in the description box. He's such a fun guy. He loves food. He's passionate. He's such an amazing guy and I'll have his link, his channel. He makes videos. I'll have that in the description box below as well. And if you haven't watched all the videos in this Kerala food, Indian food series so far, I'll have the link in the description box. Again, go back, watch the entire series. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for your support. And remember to to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Kodi Code, and I will see you on the next video.